Now today we're going to be multiplying rational expressions and dividing rational expressions. And in multiplying and dividing rational expressions, you need to know how to um, use the law of exponents and uh, you also need to know your factoring techniques to be able to uh, multiply and divide rational expressions. Now to start with, let's relate multiplying and dividing rational expressions in multiplying and dividing simple or regular fractions. So we have 4 over 15 times 5 over 6. And if we multiply these two fractions, we know that we're just going to multiply the numerator and multiply the denominator. But in this case, instead of multiplying 4 and 5 and 15 and 6, we're going to factor out those numbers and use the cancellation technique in multiplying the fraction. Now notice that 4, 15, and 6 are composite numbers which we can factor out by using its prime factorization 4, 4, 15, and 6. 4 can be changed into 2 times 2, 15 is 3 times 5, and 6 will be 2 times 3. Now by doing so, we are now expanding our numerical expressions so we can cancel out the common terms in the numerator and the denominator. So by multiplying the two fractions, we'll combine them, we'll combine them by multiplication and notice that we can get rid of 2 and 2 because they are just going to equal to 1 and also 5 and 5, leaving us with 2 all over 3 times 3. So the product of 4 over 15 times 5 over 6 is now 2 all over 9 using factoring of numerical expressions. And we're going to use the same technique in dividing fractions. And uh, for 20 over 9 divided by 15 over 3, we know that the rule in dividing fraction is to copy the first fraction and reciprocate the second fraction and then proceed to multiplication. So by doing so, we are now ready to factor out 20, 9, and 15 to use our cancellation technique in dividing 20 over 9 and 15 over 3. So 20 would become 4 times 5, and 9 is 3 times 3, and 15 will become 5 times 3. And by multiplication, we're going to combine our numerator and the denominator, leaving us with 4 times 5 times 3 in the numerator, and 3 times 3 times 5 times 3 in the denominator. And by cancellation, we know we can get rid of 5 and 3, leaving us with 4 over 3 times 3. So the quotient of our fraction is 4 over 9 using prime factorization. Now we're going to apply this technique in rational expressions so we can relate this simple strategy in using it to some complex rational or algebraic expressions. So for example number 1, we're going to multiply x plus 3 all over x plus 5 and x plus 4 all over x plus 3. So for multiplication, we're not going to FOIL the binomials. What we're going to do is to put them all together and see which one we can cancel. So we can multiply the numerator by putting them together and the denominator into x plus 5 times x plus 3. And notice that x plus 3 and x plus 3 can be canceled out leaving us with x plus 4 all over x plus 5. So this is now the product of our first example. Now on our second example, we have two expressions or rational expressions that we know we can simplify by factoring. So the first fraction, x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over x squared minus 1, are both factorable rational or both factorable um, algebraic expressions. So the numerator can be transformed into x plus 2 times x plus 1. And the denominator, which is the difference of two squares, can be transformed into x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now, the second fraction doesn't need to be simplified or factored out because it's already in simplest form. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them all together and see which terms or factors we can cancel. And in this um, stage of our uh, multiplication method, we can cancel out x minus 1 because they are a common term, and we can also get rid of x plus 1, leaving us with x plus 2 all over 2x. And this will be the product of our rational expressions by factoring and canceling technique, x plus 2 all over 2x.
Now, in the next example, we'll start dividing rational expressions by factoring. And uh, in this case, we have 2x all over 3 times 5 plus x divided by 7x plus 2 all over 15x times 5 plus x. So the rule of division is pretty simple. You copy the first fraction and reciprocate the second fraction and proceed to multiplication. And since our expressions are already in its factored form, we're just going to put them all together and see which terms we can cancel. 5 plus x are a common term which we can cancel. And notice that 15 and 3 can also be simplified by dividing both terms with 3. And now we are left with 5 in our numerator. Now, by getting rid of all the canceled terms, we are now left with 2x times 5x all over 7x plus 2, which we can further simplify, so we will have a quotient of 10x squared all over 7x plus 2. So this is how we divide rational expressions by the cancellation technique. Now, in the second example, we're just going to be using the same method, which is to copy the first fraction multiplied by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now, we can see that we can simplify x squared minus 36 because it's the difference of two squares. Also, x squared plus 2x minus 8 is also a factor of all quadratic equation, leaving us with a new factored form of our rational expressions. And by multiplication, we're just going to combine the numerator and the denominator to check which terms we can cancel out. And in this example, or in this expression, we can cancel out x minus 6 because they are a common term, and the rest of the factors of our polynomials cannot be canceled out anymore, so our quotient will simply be x plus 6 times x minus 2 times x plus 4 all over x times x plus 2. And this is how we divide rational expressions by factoring.